There are hundreds of different kinds of jalapeno poppers. Today, I'm gonna make some chili crunch jalapeno poppers and cook them up out on the grill. Yeah, these are gonna be some delicious poppers today, but we've got several steps to take care of first. We've got to clean the jalapenos. We gotta make the filling, fill them, wrap them with bacon. But first, I wanna get a little bit of a sauce ready. We're gonna drizzle this on top of these when they're done. And it's gonna be a lime crema. Now we're starting with a cup of Mexican crema. Now I wanna give this just a sprinkling of some cracked black pepper. Next up, I'm gonna get the zest of one lime. I'm gonna use my microplane to get that. And if you're using a microplane like this, rotate the lime or the lemon or whatever you're doing so that you're getting a larger section of it like this without digging too much down below the zest that you want. And I'm not gonna go too crazy here and trying to get every last little bit. Now what we want is the juice of half of this lime. Got my juicer here. And we're gonna mix this up. Get a little taste here. Just a hint of the lime. I think I want a little bit more. I'm gonna squeeze some more lime juice. Maybe about half of that second half. And you can keep adjusting like that if you want, taste it. If you want more lime juice or if you're using another flavor, just keep adding it and tasting. All right, that's looking good. Let's get our jalapenos out here. So for our jalapenos, we are going to cut them in half and clean out the seeds. We want just sort of that clean interior for our filling. So what I'm gonna try and do is split as close to the stem as I possibly can. Then what I like to do is take a plate and a small spoon and just clean out the inside. If you do it on a plate, it catches the seeds. If a few slip through, it's not gonna hurt anything. Just like that. Let's do another one. Once again, just like that. We're gonna be doing six jalapenos today, so we have 12 poppers. I'm gonna get the rest of those cleaned up and then we'll move on to getting our filling ready. Now for our filling, we're starting with 16 ounces of cream cheese. This has been softened a little bit, let it set out for about 30 minutes. Before I add the chili crunch, I wanna kind of press this down and sort of start to soften this even more. We're just mushing it around. And we're gonna add about three tablespoons of our chili crunch. And I'm just gonna use my fork here to start working this in. Take your time. And if you're wearing gloves, just get in there. I wouldn't do this without gloves though. That chili crunch can be pretty potent. All right, that's looking good to me. I'm gonna change my gloves and we're gonna fill our jalapenos and then wrap them with bacon. Got one of my jalapeno halves here, and we're gonna fill it with our Chili Crunch cream cheese mixture. You don't wanna underfill it, but you also don't wanna overfill it. You will get some oozage as we're cooking these out on the grill, but you don't wanna to lose too much. Just like that. There's a little bit of a bigger jalapeno half. Let's wrap it with some bacon. Might need to give a little stretch there. Just like that. Let's do one more. On the littler ones like this, you might have a little bit of extra bacon, so someone's gonna really enjoy their popper. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna finish the rest of these, then we'll head out to the grill, and I actually miscounted. I don't have 12, we've got 16. I had eight jalapenos.
All right, the Weber kettle is up to temp. My target today is 300 degrees. I'm using the Mallory firewall and the Mallory cast iron grate. Once our poppers are on, I'm gonna add a hunk of apple wood to the coals. So let's get our poppers on. piece of apple wood on. All right, we're gonna get the lid on it. We're gonna come back in 20 minutes and we'll look at them and see if we need to rotate them in their position. See you back here in a little bit. We are at the 20 minute mark. Let's take a look at them. I know they're not gonna be done at this point, but it's always good to check and just see how things are going. They are smelling great. You can see a little oozage right here, that's normal. And remember, if some of the bacon comes a little unfurled from the popper, don't worry about that, it's gonna taste great. But right now we're gonna get the lid back on and let these keep smoking. See you back here in 20 minutes when we check them again. All right, we are at the 50 minute mark. I actually thought I said 30 minutes, but I think I said 20 minutes, so we're at the 50 minute mark. And the temp actually went up a little bit. It went closer to 350 in this last half hour, and I just let it go. So let's take a look and I'm pretty sure we're done. But remember, you can cook this to the doneness you like your bacon. If you've watched enough of my videos, you know I like AFS, acceptable floppy state. I don't like super crispy bacon. If you want super crispy bacon, I do this at a little higher temperature and maybe for a little longer, but let's take a look. Those look great. We've got some oozage going on here, totally expected. And these are looking great, so I'm gonna get these off here, inside, so we can have a taste. Well, here are our Chili Crunch Poppers. They look amazing, they smell amazing, and I wanna reiterate what I said out at the grill. If you like your bacon more done, cook it more. I don't like mine super crispy. This is perfect to me. Now, let's get some of that lime crema on here. A little decoration on here, not a lot. It's for a nice little presentation. I'm gonna get a little more lime zest on top here. I would say without a doubt, it's time to taste these. I think I'm just gonna take this one right off the top here to taste. Cheers. That is freaking fantastic. Perfect amount of heat with the chili crunch and the jalapeno. Now sometimes jalapenos can be hot. Sometimes they're very mild, sort of a little bit of luck of the draw with these, but adding that chili crunch to the filling, perfect. Would I do this again? Yes. Am I gonna eat another one? Yes. Am I gonna eat all of them? No, but probably more than two.